Fight, fight, fight. Oh my god. Um, what? What? What just happened? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're checking out some more custom maps in FH5. Today, we've got some really, really cool maps. We're going back in time, back to Forza Horizon 4. We're going to be driving some bikes around. And also, let's just say we're going to play some other games today. As per always, if you guys want to submit your own maps to this series, you can do so on our Discord server. There's an area in there for FH5 submissions. We've had some really good submissions. And if they're really, really cool, I'll check them out in a future episode. There's a link to the Discord server in the description down below. This is going to be our first map, the Downhill Mountain Biking Trail. Unleash your inner adrenaline junkie and weave your way through the trees in this downhill mountain bike inspired trail. Super, super cool. Shout out to Ethan from our Discord server who submitted this one. I have no idea what this map entails, but I do know you start all the way at the top of the volcano. Yo, I forgot how slow this thing is without any upgrades on it. So let's see. I love the start line already. Straight into, oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Yo, this is actually way more legit than I thought it would be. Whoa, whoa. Mountain bikes do reverse, right? Right? That's just style point. What a cool map though. This is totally like mountain biking. Watch out for the signs and the trees. Holy, I'm actually doing really well here. I I'm discovering something about myself that I didn't know earlier. I'm, a I'm actually pretty good at mountain biking. All right, jump it over there. Whoa. Rock crawling, yo, this is so sick. Yo, you know what would have been really, really cool as well? If we actually tuned the Polaris to have like no rear suspension and we were like a hardtail mountain bike, that would have been pretty cool. Anyway, send it down here. Jeez, the amount of speed that you can carry down is pretty crazy. This is awesome. Like, this is actually so smooth. Ethan absolutely nailed it. He said it wasn't a super long map, but that is awesome. I love all of the tiny little details. It's unbelievably smooth to drive. And most importantly, I didn't even crash. It's just perfect. Like, that's a sick little map. No joke. That could genuinely be in the game. It's just like, it's just that good. Map number two is from Trackmania AO1. AO1, but it's in Forza. That is so sick. This is the time trial version of AO1. If you don't know anything about Trackmania, long story short, AO1 is like the most competitive Trackmania circuit out there. And it only takes like 20 seconds to complete a section. Because of that, it's become super, super popular for people to speed run. And somebody's gone in recreated it in FH5. Trackmania A01. Let's give it a go. BAC Mono. In Trackmania, doesn't this circuit take like 30 seconds or something like that? If you know Trackmania, you know how kind of legit this is. It's kind of insane. Yo, this BAC Mono. I don't know what tune I downloaded, but it doesn't drive super clean. We've got the checkpoint into the left-hander there straight up the hill through the little circle. That was close. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, 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 got it. <laughs> 37 seconds. I guess if this is going to be track mania, I guess we should do the track mania thing and try to beat our time. BAC mono. I don't know what tune this thing has on it, but it genuinely does not want to go around the corners. So I'm gonna need to be aware of that and stomp on the brakes. We're breaking some pretty big track mania rules here. I'm not gonna lie. Send it through the corner. Keep it as flat as possible. Run it out wide. In we go. Send it, send it, send it, send it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Try to come in a little bit wider. And in. There we go. There we go. That's the play. Little lift. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it didn't go exactly through the circle. 35 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> 
Those are the types of things we love to see, though. Track Mania, but in Forza Horizon 5. Very cool. Race number three is this, and it's actually a race this time. The Guanajuato Grand Prix. This map is made by a guy named Apex, who submitted over on the Discord server. It should be really, really cool. The Guanajuato Grand Prix. This race looks so cool. It's a race that runs through the streets of Guanajuato. Let's be honest, nobody actually likes racing in Guanajuato because the streets are so narrow and they're so tight. However, this guy actually submitted in like a video when he submitted the map and this racetrack looked unbelievable to drive. Lotus Elise GT1, away we go. So we've actually got six laps of this circuit. I don't know how long it takes to actually do a circuit so, or, a, or a lap, so we'll see. Anyways, you'll see what I mean with all of the scenery placed around the map. Like, look at all of the lights, the walls and everything like that. What a beautiful racetrack. I didn't realize it would have so much elevation change like this. That's awesome. And look at all of the stands on that right-hand side there. That's so cool. Look at them all continue into here. And then look up in the distance at all of the hot air balloons. Those look awesome. Jeez, it's exactly what I thought it was. Whoa. That would have been close. That would have been so close. Can I just say as well, I love all of the colors out here. Like all of the purple lights shining down onto the circuit look awesome. There is lap number one in the books. And away we go for lap number two. Jeez, what a cool circuit. If I was to say one thing in terms of actual racing, I kind of wish the circuit was a little bit shorter just for like regular plane of the map. It really does feel like a Grand Prix circuit though. This guy nailed it again. Very nicely done. That's such a fun circuit to race around. Our next race is this, the Need for Speed movie final race. You know that race that runs through all of the trees and finishes off at the lighthouse? Well, somebody's sort of kind of made it in FH5. Need for Speed movie race. Oh my god, we've got two chargers in front. I'm lined up with the McLaren P1. We've got the Veyron in the middle of the pack. Then the Celine and the Agera all the way at the back. Okay. Need for Speed, the Daily Owl is away and going. So, like I said, racers try to stick to the racing line and, and the cop... cop all right, we're not we're not doing fast and furious. It's not it's not see you again. Any second now, we're about to go out of ghost mode, and that's when things are about to become so sketchy. There we go. We've got 17 miles. <laughs> Key died. Key. <laughs> well, that's a uh, Veron was the first one out of the film in real life, wasn't it? Oh my god. Yo, look at all the props. Jeez, this actually feels like Need for Speed the movie. Wow. Yo, the cop! Cop just took somebody out in front. Dodge Charger chasing down a drifting Veyron. Ank's battling it out with a Charger. Oh, sorry, Ank. I mean, I shouldn't be apologizing. I'm supposed to be the villain here. I should crash him out, shouldn't I? Jeez! Ank, this is crazy! Oh my god. Gonzo, <laughs> we're looking good, looking real good in the char in the in the sesto. Uh oh. Whoa! No! 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 This actually feels so legit. It's so cool. Oh my! Oh! We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Charger, charger! Don't fall off the mountain. Go, Ank! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Thank you! Oh, dead. Oh no, no, no! It's too accurate to the film! Whoa, look what this guy put in! He's put in really, really cool little prop! Oh, dead. This is so scary! Go, 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 go! Go! Run! Oh my god, I. How am I so slow? How am I so slow? Guy, guy, guys, guy, oh my god, oh my god. Fight, 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 oh my god. Um, what? What, what just happened? What? That was not in the film. <laughs> That's not, what just happened? All right, back on the road, nothing. <laughs> he went to the moon. <laughs> 
watch out for the chargers. Go, go, go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Chargers everywhere. Literally cops everywhere. Just gonna sneak around here, boys. Oh, never mind. Oh my God. I, th <laughs> I think the cops have started murdering each other. Whoa, what's this? Whoa. Hit that. That looks cool. Yes. Yes. Good geek. <laughs> Very good. Oh my God. No way. It's actually gonna finish at a lighthouse. That is so, so cool. The guy's name was Forza Livecast who submitted that map over on Discord. That's gotta be one of the best things we have ever played in this game. Final map of the day is this, the Forza Horizon 4 crate. If you know our friend Savvy, Savvy makes some of the craziest maps out there. And I'm not even joking for this one. He genuinely went into FH4 and recreated every single crate accurately. Where should, where should we all line up? Yo, yo, yo. I bet you this is gonna be smoother than it actually was in Forza Horizon 4 <laughs> because it was over on the train yards and there was always like all sorts of garbage all over the train track. Baka says you won't believe where I'm at. Check the map. <laughs> How, how are you all the way over there? So I don't actually know the drift line through the crates, but this is beautiful. Savvy placing every single crate. I think he even went in and matched the actual colors of them. I have so much turbo lag on this thing. It's not even funny. No way. Oh, that's too cool. My car is so unbelievably grippy. I can barely drift it. I'm just gonna try to follow DJ. No, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to. My car is way, way too grippy. I do apologize for the lack of drifting ability with my little Corolla here. I'm pushing it to its limits, but this tune, tune has so much grip. Oh my God. I love it. Savvy's making a little bit of everything, whether it be real life drift circuits or recreating FH4 vibes. You love to see it. Awesome stuff. I love checking out everybody's creations in FH5. If you have anything really cool that you think I should check out, like I said, send it over on the Discord server. And if it's really, really cool, I'd love to check it out in a future video like this. <laughs>